Hello, I'm Dave from DinoPC, and today we have got our hands on the RX 480. So this is the RX 480. We have the Sapphire version, and this is said to be able to play VR games at 210 pounds, absolutely incredible. Is it true though? Because if it is true, then we're gonna be able to make some absolutely incredible PCs for very little money. VR gaming PCs for 500 pounds. This is the future, or so they say. So, what are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna do the standard test of benchmarks, but first, let me introduce you to Dino PC's VR gaming rig. So it's time to throw this into this and see exactly what we come up with. Hello, so we're here in VR. We've got the 480 in and we are recording with XSplit and we've got Fraps running so that you can see exactly what, um, exactly what is going on right now. This is someone else's creation. We didn't make this. Um, it's pretty damn gorgeous, um, but we're gonna see exactly how the frame rate um, how the frame rate goes when we're doing this. Don't forget we are recording as well and it's still recording a pretty high uh, a pretty high frame rate. Um, we've done this without recording and it's at 90 the entire time which is what you want to be hitting. So um, without further ado I guess we should probably uh, start a little project. So first things first we're going to go into our little menu as you can see here and we're going to pick uh, what we're going to pick. Let's pick a nice environment. Night sky? Nah. Too generic. Ah! A dress. Well, let's see if we can make a nice dress for this lovely lady here. So, we'll start off with ink. We'll go full thing. Let's, uh, let's, let's pick some red. We like some little dino PC red. And we'll start the flow off here, making some sort of nice dress. So we've got the base there, seems quite nice. Let's, uh, let's change, uh, go over to a nice royal blue kind of color. There we go. And maybe we'll pick uh, paper. Paper seems like quite nice. We'll cover the, the bosom area now, I think. So obviously this is very beautiful, but these days, this kind of thing doesn't really um, impress people. What impresses people, of course, in PC terms, is going to be LEDs. So let's add some nice light strobes to the project. That does seem quite nice, but it's not really my style. I mean, in computers, I kind of like my dress, my, uh, my computer is to be full RGB. So uh, let's go over to the rainbow section and create ourselves a beautiful rainbow RGB dress. Of course, I'd be expecting this dress to sell for over a million. Um, there's no way that this, this dress here is gonna be anything less than a million. So that's, uh, that's it, that's my beautiful uh, Dino PC dress. And we should probably finish it off with some nice uh, spirals, so. So there we go. Beautiful, isn't it? But it wouldn't be quite right unless it was some form of scarf. So we'll come around here, around here. And it can lead back into the dress. And that is it, my scarf dress right there. As you can see, VR is performing perfectly well. And not only that, it will perform perfectly well in any of the VR games that we've got here. And to prove as such, let's go into a different VR game. All right, so this is Lightblade VR, where basically I have to defend myself against whatever the hell this is. But the main thing, as you can see, is of course that, oh, the, uh, the RX 480 is indeed managing to, oh, that was close. The RX 480 is indeed managing to keep up this high frame rate, even when they're shooting things. This 
guy shooting shit. Oh, things at me. Okay, blocked 38 out of 40, accuracy 95%. Well, there we go, guys. We actually managed <laughs> to do it. So by this time, you know what's going to happen. We're going to benchmark the RX 480, and rather than just sitting here telling you about the spec that you can just find online, I'm just going to show you the benchmark against the 960, the 970, the 980, and maybe even the 980 Ti, if I feel up to it. But all I have to say before we get into the graphs is this is the best priced performance card you can buy right now. It is honestly awesome. This is the new 1080p King. If you want to run a game and you're only looking after 1080p, this is the card you buy, unless you want to play at 1440p, in which case you buy a GTX 1080, or a 4K, in which case you'd buy two GTX 1080s. But anyway, enough of me talking, let's get into the benchmarks. So here we have the first benchmark, the RX 480 on top, the Asus 970 Turbo in the middle, and the MSI GTX 980 at the bottom. You can see the temperatures in grey, the max FPS in blue, and of course the average FPS in orange. Um, what you're going to notice on Batman at 1080p on Ultra settings is that the RX 480 sneaks ahead of the Asus Turbo in just about every single test, apart from the uh, temperature, which is a solid 80, and you're going to learn that, of course, that the... Uh, the temperature of the RX 480 is going to be quite uh, a problem. Well, I wouldn't say a problem. I would probably say uh, consistent throughout this as we hit a max temperature of 80 on every single test. With some water cooling and some overclocking, the RX 480 could be a contender with the 980. All of these are at standard clocks. Moving over to our 1440p test, this is Far Cry Primal with the HD texture pack installed at 1440p. And as you can see, the RX 480 once again beats out only just the Asus 970 Turbo on average FPS, but does get a higher overall maximum FPS and much, much, much closer to the performance of the 980 in this test, other than the temperature, which is, again, about 10 degrees higher than the 970. Finally, come we come to the Valley benchmark, the only oddity on this test, and I think I have worked out why. I believe that AMD are trying to aim these cards at DirectX 12 uses, and DirectX 11 is what Valley benchmark used, and that is why we saw ourselves getting such low scores here, compared to the Asus 970 Turbo and the MSI GTX 980. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like. If you didn't enjoy the video, make sure you leave a dislike. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye.